this is Coach Nick. We're here with uh, Lotolahi, my son. We're gonna do a little boxing tutorial about footwork. So if you're trying to learn to box, you always start off with the footwork, that's the foundation, and then you work on defense, and the last thing you work on is offense. Uh, the reason why we do it that way, at least that's how we do it, um, is because if you learn to have the right footwork and then the right defense, it's gonna allow you to set up your offense with less risk and do it the right way. Um, oftentimes I see a lot of trainers just start off at, on a punching bag, teaching punches. Uh, we always start, the foundation is the feet because that gets you in and out, moving around. Uh, you know, we like to teach our fighters to be versatile and agile and move around, not to be in one spot being a sitting target. So uh, today we're gonna have a little boxing tutorial, short video about footwork with LL. And LL, is, uh, he just turned six. So we start early with LL uh, learning the fundamentals because it takes a long time to train and learn the fundamentals. So. Uh, as far as training, we don't really train him that hard. It's kind of, right now it's just a lot of learning, a lot of teaching, uh, a little bit of conditioning, but not a whole lot. We don't want to burn him out. He's only six. Uh, here we go with the tutorial. So right here, we're working on footwork, moving forward and back. Anytime you're moving forward, you move the front foot first, follow with the back foot. So the rule is, however far you move the front foot, that's how far you move the back foot. And you wanna try to keep the spacing. Obviously when you're teaching young kids, technique's not gonna be perfect. But as you continue to train, repetition, they get better and better. So footwork is something that you do every day, uh, preferably in the beginning, you know, you can use it as a warm up, work on all your footwork drills, something that need to be programmed so that you can do it without thinking. Because like I said, when you're in the boxing ring and you get in the fight, things happen fast. And that part has to be automatic. So this part we're working on moving side to side the rule is whatever direction you're moving, that foot moves first. So if you're going to the left, left foot moves first. If you're going to the right, right foot moves first. So a point I wanna make is that when you're moving side to side, you wanna stay in your stance and move that way. So that's gonna be the way you move when you're moving slow to kind of medium. But when you're trying to move fast, your footwork is gonna be more a little bit more square, so that would be way you'll be able to move faster. You start in the middle with your foot in your stance, staggered. Um, when you move forward, same thing, take a step forward and then the back foot replaces and steps to the next square. I like to use this square because it kind of gives uh, the fighter a guideline of where to stand. Uh, so when you're starting off, this is a good way to teach them the proper movement and the spacing. And again, you can move forward and back or left to right, working with this drill. And I like to use this because it kind of gives them a guideline of the spacing um, and their movement. So at first, it's okay if they look down at their feet, but after a while, you wanna look up and move your footwork and be able to see and use your peripheral vision to see what's going on on the, on the ground. Later on, we'll have other footwork drills that we do. It's a little bit more advanced. Uh, we use the same square box. So 
So right here, this drill is jumping forward and back, keeping your feet together. And this helps to build the muscles and strengthen the explosive power of moving in that direction, going forward and, and back. And it helps the athlete to be more agile and be more explosive with their movement. So in this, this next drill, it's the same thing, except just change the direction, hopping side to side. You know, again, helping the athlete to be quicker, faster. Uh, when you're in a fight, things happen so fast. And this part has to be automatic. This last drill is what we call shadowing. Helps the fighter to be able to judge the distance. Distance is one of the hardest things to figure out. When you know your distance, you know when you're able to punch and land and when it's not time. So that way you don't waste energy. So the distance uh, is very important. So the way this drill works, one is gonna be the leader and one is gonna be the follower. So when the leader moves, if he moves forward, the other person is gonna step back. If the leader backs up, the other person is gonna step forward. And if he goes left or right, they shadow and follow.